Well, uh, good morning everybody. It is 11.10 my time. And I was in the kitchen doing up some dishes after my breakfast. And I heard something. Because I always leave the computer on, listen to the news in the morning while I make my coffee and this and that, whatever else. And I'm going, oh my God. Yes. A political scheme about the immigrants flooding our country. A scheme? Are we not seeing the big picture here? This just, this burnt my gall. I mean, it just, it tripped me up. I came right back in here and sat down, boy. Biden didn't bother to make plans before he opened the wall. Did he? Where are the plans, Biden? What's your agenda for when all these immigrants come across that border? Where's your plan? You didn't tell us that, did you? No, you never said a word about no plan of any kind. I remember the day that you gave your speech after you got elected. The border is open. Come on. Yeah. Oh, I'm not in a good mood right now, people. I'm going to tell you I'm not in a good mood. Am I missing something here? Did he make planes? You tell me. If you know of an article or a TV segment or something where he's got plans for all these immigrants, what did he think would happen when he opened that wall? Was he even thinking? Oh, I think I've said that before, haven't I? If you're going to have company coming, don't you make plans first? I mean, the immigrants are our company. They're people. They're just like us. They're humans. You know? Where was the plans to feed these people? I mean, you're having company now, Biden. So, you got to get them, you got to get their sleeping conditions ready. Their meals ready? What are you going to feed these poor people? Coming that long way, fighting their life, dying and giving up everything. Some even left their children behind. Did you give that a thought? And look how many have lost their lives trying to swim that river, the Rio Grande. Did you think about that? No, this is not a scheme. This, this Dennis by DeSantis or any others. They're not doing this to get back at you, Biden. It looks like it, maybe in a way, but hey, you asked for it. You had no plans for these poor people trying to get to a better country to get a better life, but you had no plans for them. You said, oh, the border's open. Come on in. Yeah. Well, you better get that coffee pot or coffee pots ready and some fresh water fresh bedding fresh food get your ass out of your fucking chair and help us you asked for this now do something mm. remember the biden speech yeah i just said it over and over again i ain't gonna say it again but they were just about the first words out of his mouth the border is open mm. He had no idea, did he? He didn't stop to think at all what he created when he did that. So now who is suffering? Yeah, who is suffering? We all are, including the immigrants. <laughs> oh. Us and Biden could care less. Blaming who? Yeah, we have nobody to blame but Biden. But now the ones getting flooded with these people think it is a scheme against the Democrats. Sorry, Democrats, you got that all wrong. Why don't you look up to Biden? Hey, Biden's choice for all of America, you're included. 
Republicans, Democrats, whatever else, you're all included. Duh, pay attention. So what made you think you wasn't going to be included? Don't you live in the USA? God's sakes. Talk about people not thinking anymore. Where's their damn brains? Are they sitting on them all the time? Get a life. This is real. And you're all included. All of us. So make room. Biden is president. He's a father of all of us. He's the president of the United States of America. He's the one that makes the plans. And his siblings behind him called the Congress. We don't have anything to say about nothing. Don't you get it yet? Oh my God. Mm. Just quit your crying. Open up your doors. Because we all are included in this. It don't matter. Big city, little city, middle city, towns. It's, oh, it's just terrible. Did he make plans for their housing? Where were they going to stay? Oh, well, now we've got these little particles here that are just running around uh, uh, called sanctuaries. For hundreds and thousands that are coming across the borders? Hey, we need a lot of sanctuaries, don't you think? How about your whole town? How about your whole city? Mm. I've got to take a deep breath here because I'll tell you, that just floored me. I applaud DeSantis. I applaud him because he's finding room for these people that Biden brought to us. Father Biden. His decision, but no plans. Come on, people. You got to spread these immigrants out. You got to make room for them now. Their husband, the wives, the children. Hey, they're here. And they're coming more and more and more and more. Yeah. No pawns. There's no pawns here. Democrats, Republicans, we all have a responsibility thanks to Father Biden's plans, which he didn't have. Right? Right. Oh, my God. You know, I've had other thoughts, and they're horrible. But things are horrible these days. And you can have your thoughts. You can speak your mind. But doesn't it seem funny that all he opened the border to all these immigrants? Do you notice that there is hardly any seniors involved in those immigrants? They're all young. Has that dawned on you yet? You know, they'll probably they'll probably work for a lesser wage than what we've asked for, the workers, the men and the women, the mothers, wives have asked for because they have to get out and work anymore. They can't stay home and be there for the kids. So the kids get drugged out and die, dead in the street or get knifed or shot, whatever. No, everybody's got to get out and work now. This is a slave country. But as it dawned on you, there's no elderly in those immigrants. I haven't seen a gray-haired immigrant but I don't look a lot, but I probably could have missed a few. But they're all young, vibrant, anxious, excited. They want a new life. They want a new home, a safe home. So they're going to work. So all these raises that was given to the workers, the men and women of the United States of America, these immigrants will work for half of that probably because they're so thankful to be here. And the drug Contel uh, is going to get rich because look at all the young children coming into our country that can be hooked on drugs. Oh, they've just walked into a multi-million dollar setup, ain't they? Thank you, Biden. Father Biden. Well, 
Has it dawned on you that possibly behind the curtains, the people like seniors, disabled like me and a senior, retirees, railroad workers that are retired now, we're being pushed out of our own country. Has that dawned on anybody? Has anybody ever had that thought yet? Because why would Biden open up that border that Trump had almost completed and went against everything that Trump did? Hasn't that dawned on you yet either? Just my thoughts. Just my thoughts only. But now we have no choice. Father Biden spoke. And the only plan that got carried out by Biden was opening the damn wall. Now look, and God love the immigrants. I have nothing against any race, any nationality, any nothing. You know, uh, they want a better life. My heart goes out to them. You know, and, and my, my heart is saddened over the ones that have died crossing that Rio Grande, just trying to get to a better life. We're not hateful people here in the United States of America. We open our arms to new people, but they got to come legally. What's the matter with the legal system here? Why are there so many immigrants that have fought for years and saved for years just to get a chance to come to the United States of America? Why, did, have, why hasn't more come in legally? Why did they have to go this way? It don't make sense to me. But thank you, Father Biden. And all that in Congress that followed him and agreed to open the border. Now y'all get off your duffs, get out of your easy chairs, get off your caviar dinners, Make room for all these people that are coming across the border. Because there ain't certain sanctuaries. No, we're all now the sanctuary for all thousands and thousands and thousands that are coming. So get ready. Nobody's to blame but Father Biden. That's it. I just burned up. Don't blame DeSantis. Don't blame anybody else but Father Biden. That's it. Bye.